Now, let's talk about Thiago Alcantara. We didn't get a chance to, to chat to you two about him earlier on. Here's some quotes from Hansi Flick, the Bayern Munich boss. He says, Thiago is an exceptional player who spent seven hugely successful years here. He's a wonderful person and an outstanding professional. It was very emotional today when he said goodbye to us all. OK, so, Anton, what does he add to Liverpool that they don't already have? I mean, pure class. That's what, and that's not a, you know, there's no, there's no criticism of Liverpool's squad. It's okay to add fantastic elements to the squad already. I mean, if you just look at, look at some of the statistics that have been gathered by Adam Bate from our, from our stats team up in the football department. And look, I mean, he is absolutely magnificent compared to what Liverpool already have. He tops the rest of the midfielders for ball recoveries. He tops the rest of the midfielders for dribbles completed. He tops the rest of the midfielders for interceptions. I mean, that's absolutely magnificent for a deep lying midfielder. And it's... Like I said, it's about the next evolution of this Liverpool team. The next evolution of this Liverpool team is Thiago Alcantara. That, that is amazing, actually. I did, I, th those stats really do it's tell us. It, it will delight Liverpool fans seeing those. It's, I mean, they're already so delighted. But same question to you, JD. What, what else does he add? I mean, squads... To an already brilliant midfield. I just think squads at that level, when you're talking about when you're up with Europe's elite... Because Liverpool aren't just competing in the Premier League. They're competing for, for the Champions League as well. And you need versatility. And we said it. All of those midfielders that we just listed off there, the Wijnaldums, the... Chamberlains, the Fabinho's, the Hendersons, they're all fantastic top-level midfielders. But they're all very similar. They're very dynamic, want to play on the front foot. Now you have a player that is completely different. Cultured, vision. Anybody that, honestly, it's going to be a gift and an absolute dream to watch him in the Premier League. And I might be blowing him up and, and the hyperboles might be there, but if you had anybody had watched that Champions League final and just watched the way that he dictated that game, you understand as to why everybody should be excited about Thiago playing England. Look, JD, let's put it this way. How many teams who finished in and around the top four last season have improved their starting 11s? Mm. Have Manchester City, with business, done actually improved their starting 11? They've added some fantastic pieces, but have they improved their starting 11? Chelsea, yes. Yes, they have. Manchester United has signed Donny van der Beek. Does he start? Is he going to week one starter? Mm -hmm. He may well be, but does he get ahead of Pogba and Fernandes? That's the interesting one, and we'll see. Thiago Alcantara improves Liverpool from week one. It was thought that it might be one in, one out at Liverpool. I mean, who could still leave? This is the thing, isn't it? And Vinny mentioned it from outside of Liverpool earlier. It's, there's a, you know, there's obviously we're talking about Gini Wijnaldum. We initially thought it would be one in, one out, Thiago in, potentially Wijnaldum out. We know there's interest from Barcelona. The thing is, well, Liverpool have got a lot of squad players that they want to get rid of. You know, they've got Shaqiri, they've got Grijic, yeah, they've got... Uh, potentially a Rigi and Brewster they could potentially do deals for and that's just you know that's just the midfield and 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 forward element so if they can clear some of the some of the players that are surplus to requirements then they might not need to get rid of Gini Van Alden. but if the offers don't come in then Gini Van Alden will have a price that Liverpool will do a deal for because it's in the last 12 months of his contract regardless of how good he has been for the club and let's not forget that we we reported it here that Gini Van Alden had positive conversations with Liverpool about his future so you would like to think that that's a, a marker to say that he's going to be staying here for the seeable future anyway. But Liverpool want to compete on every single level and they'll need a squad to do so, especially the high intensity that Jurgen Klopp expects from his players in every game. So from that standpoint, I don't really feel like you're going to see a sort of a certified tip player that would have been in the 18 every single week leaving because Liverpool don't want to deplete their squad in any which way. Liverpool fans, so many of you have got in touch, hashtag transfer talk, but all of them are very, very happy about this deal. Nothing negative from Liverpool fans coming in at all that I can see.